Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, as long as you're over the age of 21, it's time to do another cigar review. And I have a little bit of a vested interest in doing this one. We'll talk about that here in a second, but let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, I'm Ellery Wells from CigarScore.com, the best place to find and rate where to smoke cigars. And today we're smoking a cigar that we sell at the Cigar Score Lounge. If you've missed the memo, if you haven't heard, we started our own cigar lounge, or we're about to. And while we are searching for the right location and, and outfitting it with furniture and TVs and all that other stuff, we've decided to start selling cigars online to serve our local community, to start building up inventory, and there's a lot of other business reasons to do that as well. But today's cigar is one that we sold in our very first sampler pack called the Launch Sampler, and it was 10 cigars, and they're still available by the way, but it has 10 cigars, 10 premium cigars, and it's a great sample of different sizes, uh, different blends, different brands, all that kind of stuff. And included in that sampler is the Monte by Monte Cristo. And this one is a, uh, a Toro. I don't remember off the top how of my head how much this specific cigar costs, but it's bundled with 10 amazing cigars and you can get it by checking out the link below or going to Cigar Score Lounge. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna do a normal review. I've never had this cigar. I've had most of the cigars in that sampler and they're absolutely fantastic. But I took other people's advice and I looked at what our users said they wanted to buy and one of those brands was Monte Cristo. So we got this cigar. We're gonna get this thing cut and lit and give you an honest review that you've come to expect from our channel here. I may not like it, to be perfectly honest, and if I don't, I'll tell you. Let's get a close up and we're gonna get started. All right, so here's the cigar, and of course now, instead of someone else's brand, we've got Cigar Score Lounge 03-2022. Let's go get this thing out of the cellophane here. And it looks like a really great cigar. I don't smoke a whole lot of Monte Cristos, but this one looks really nice. And as I said, this is the Monte, M-O-N-T-E, Monte by Monte Cristo. And uh, the regular classic brown Monte Cristo logo right there. And uh, we got a nice, very clean cut here and some nice, nice uh, color grading there. And let's see, it's a little bit, a little bit of a textured wrapper. It's got, got a little bit of oil on it. It's not terribly shiny, but it looks really good. And by the way, we sell these at CigarScoreLounge.com as well. Let's go ahead and get this thing going. Remember, you can always cut more. You can never cut less. So we're going to cut right through the cap there, and let's test the cold draw. Kind of a, a musty wood, but the draw is great. Now let's get it torched. And you gotta have a good torch because this wind right now is just absolutely insane. Oh, that smells really good. That smells really good. And by the way, if you have checked out this cigar and you are interested in buying one, we do sell singles and five packs. You don't have to just buy the sampler. My first impressions is that this has definitely got some sweet, spicy Nicaraguan tobacco in there. I am tasting Nicaragua quite a bit on those first few puffs here. All right, with that said, let's pull up the internet and let's learn about this Monte by Monte, Monte Cristo Monte. Monte by Monte Cristo? Monte, let's figure out what it's called and then learn all of the details. Okay, so what we have here is, this is called the Monte Cristo Monte by Monte Cristo. It's $11.50, which is not a bad size for a Toro, but we're gonna keep an open mind on that. We have an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. The binder is a Dominican Olor and a vintage Nicaraguan. So there's two binders on this. And the filler tobacco is aged tobacco from the Dominican Republic. A box of 16 is $184. We've got a box marked down to 165.60. Give you a little bit of a discount. And like I said, single is 11.50 and a five pack slightly discounted is $54.63. You can find the link below this video for that. So far, there is kind of a, a sweetness in the background. The Habano wrapper is not overpowering with spice. The draw is really nice and so far, I'm glad I put this one in our launch sampler. This is a pretty good cigar, but we have a long ways to go. Stick around and I'll keep you updated. All right, we're about 28 minutes into this cigar and we've got a fairly uneven burn. There was a part where there was some moisture, I think, in this stem. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here is the burn on one side and um, 
here's the burn on the other side so we've got a 45 degree angle you can kind of see that right there and I know I've had these in our store's possession for just over a month at perfect humidity and perfect temperatures. So I'm pretty sure it's not us. The flavors are good, but I'm gonna have to re-torch this. I'm gonna have to even this up just a little bit. And it is still quite windy. So maybe that's affecting it, I'm not totally sure. And again, just lighting the uh, wrapper there, the aromas are coming really nice off of the cigar. Regarding the flavors, there are some spiciness from didn't we say there was a, a habano, Nicaragua, a habano leaf, I think, on the wrapper? The draw continues to be great, and hopefully that's the only time that we have to touch up the uh, the wrapper. Like I said, it had been uneven. It looked like there was a little bit of a runner, and then it just kind of got into that 45 degree angle. Hopefully that's the only time that we have to touch it up. If nothing else happens, I'll be right back with my final thoughts. If something else does happen, I'll keep you updated. Either way, stick around. Okay, we're about 43 minutes into the cigar here and we had to move. We had to get, there was a wall right next to us to block some of this wind. I probably should have done the review on a different day, but I wanted to smoke a cigar. Here we are, just being honest with you. So let's go ahead and test these labels. That first one came off without any sort of problem and now we're just left with this classic Monte Cristo label here and it is sliding around so i'll probably just slide that one off here in just a couple of minutes i will tell you that i did have to retorch the cigar i wanted to even it up and this wind is just blowing it everywhere so it, it, now it's calm you don't see my my hair uh, blowing in the wind but maybe you'll see a, a dust storm blow behind me or something like that but after i got out of the wind the cigar is doing much better we have a fairly even burn at this moment getting a good amount of smoke, getting a little bit of, of spiciness. It, it's got a very clean taste on my palate, which is kind of odd. Um, not in a bad way, just I did not expect that. I was kind of thinking that this would be a bolder cigar just by the color of the wrapper. And it just goes to show, again, that you can't judge a cigar by its wrapper. Some lighter cigars, like our breakfast cigar selection, those are lighter, but they have a lot of flavor in them. And this one, while it is darker, it's very clean on the palate. You could you could probably uh, very well taste a, a bourbon or something alongside this one. Some spice, some creaminess, but it's definitely medium uh, medium bodied. So I'll be right back with my final thoughts on the Monte Cristo Monte by Monte Cristo. Okay, we're coming up at about 70 minutes on this Monte Cristo Monte by Monte Cristo, and this cigar is not really what I expected it to be. As I mentioned before, I thought. It's going to be bolder and richer and this is actually kind of a mild cigar and what i've been smoking a lot of actually and i would recommend we also sell these in the store is the monte cristo 1935 anniversary and my thought was okay there's not really a whole lot of maybe bolder monte cristo cigars but that 1935 anniversary that's one blended by aj fernandez i don't know if this one is or not but that one has a lot of really nice flavors and i think I would prefer that one even though it's more expensive but as I mentioned this one is fairly mild and there is sweetness there is spiciness from the Habano wrapper and other than the burn issues the construction has been pretty good what I would probably do is buy a five pack smoke one see what you think and then let the other four if you think they need it age for a little while the the burn did bug me a little bit and like I said I've had this in an our possession for just over a month right about a month i would say at this point so maybe it needs a little bit more time aging but because of the burn issues it cannot get a cigar score of five but the flavors are good they are complex their spiciness their sweetness and the aroma on this cigar is very nice so the monte cristo monte by monte cristo earns a cigar score of four and even though it's not what i expected Pretty good cigar all around. Thanks for watching. I'm Ellery Wells from CigarScore.com, the best place to find and rate where to smoke cigars. And if you are looking for a place to grab your cigars, check out Cigar Score Lounge as well. I hope you have an amazing day. And as always, happy smoking.